Shut up. Broke the play. That's the man on Bring that rich home and on line up, man. Clap it up for yourselves, man. We did it, team. Well, Yvette did nine, but you know what I mean? Who keeping track but me? Oh <laughs> for the ones who've been here all 10, man. <laughs> nothing but salute, nothing but salute. Man, broken play. We here to stay. Woo. You know what I mean? We, uh, usually it don't happen. I could have been told you. We already signed up for season two. Everything been ever organized. Shout out to prize picks. Seeing the goal and seeing the vision. We'll be back in a couple of weeks after we... We're going to paint the wall. We see the comments. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I tried to be professional and try to talk it all the way through. We know y'all don't like the wall. We getting the wall repainted and we getting this bastard up out of here. <laughs> Donnette got the real Jordan on his shirt. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who this is. We got a few comments. Um, from the Swedes 3972. I can't wait till football season. It's gonna be lit when they off that 1942. Facts. I see he don't believe in us already. He done fast forwarded us all the way to football season. <laughs> he said, hey man. But yeah, we're gonna be on that 1942. Wayne Marie, 57, said this show has improved so much from the first episode. Funny and great sports tape. Man, from one through, he ain't even seen 10 yet. He just going from one to nine. He see that, man, shout out to you, Wayne. Deshaun Rogers said, please get Paul Pierce on here. That boy be wild. The truth. Yeah, I don't think we ready for the truth yet. You call some girls and yeah, stuff? Yeah, hey. We we got to wait for you the truth. <laughs> Paul Pierce, if you watch it, ain't nothing against you. It's something against us. We ain't at your level yet. <laughs> we got to be on some... <laughs> we got to be on some blue chews. <laughs> well, Paul Pierce. Shout out to Blue Chew, another one of our sponsors. DeMar... DeMar Chapo's 3498 said, watching from Alaska. Now, I, I can speak for myself. I don't know. Have y'all been to Alaska before? Yeah. Man, we got people. We need, we don't even know what Alaska is on the map. <laughs> you can't tell me how to drive to Alaska. You don't know a highway in Alaska, but they watching us over there. And I know he ain't the only one. Yeah. Yeah. Who else watching? Man, y'all like that comment. Love the WNBA and BG shout out. Definitely got to watch more. That's from Wiz Kicks. Hey. We slept on the WNBA. Well, I ain't going to say we. I slept on the WNBA. Prize picks. You can win some money with that WNBA. Dom, I want you to put my, uh, my, my picks up and show. I hit off that WNBA. I sit there. It ain't even about studying. The only thing now, and Thad brought this point up, you never know what these women going through on the team, so sometimes you might want to keep the assists low. Because if they done got into it, like, now nah, Brianna was talking all that junk on the plane. I ain't throwing her the ball. That might happen. <laughs> Dad said that in case y'all want to. <laughs> I, I might be piggybacking it, but he said it. Nav Green. Hey, I finally got on prize picks and turned 200 into 2,000. You see that? Over the weekend. Definitely not with y'all picks, though. You bounced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the club. Yeah. You in the club by yourself, partner. Jordan Monday said, I seen the tweet. I never hopped on the app so fast. Man, shout out to people going watching it on the app, for real. Sometimes you might have to search. It don't matter how difficult they make it for y'all to watch the show. Y'all go watch the show. And that's why we do it for WNBA and baseball, prize picks is there for you. Man, if you're not on prize picks, where have you been these last 10 weeks? Look, all you have to do is use the broken play promo code. Whatever you put in, they will match it. So if you put in $76, say that's your last $76, but you need a little extra, they gonna match that 76, and you can put in all the baseball picks from his people getting on base. 
How many strikeouts? Or you could go WNBA if you still love basketball. Aaliyah Boston is a lock. We got Diana Taurasi on there. It's so many players that you could choose from. You Atlanta Dream fan. You whoever, Indiana, Chicago, it's plenty of teams that you could put down from two to six players. And if you do six players, it's 25 times the money. It's available in over 30 states. What are you waiting for? Go head over to Prize Picks right now by tapping the link below and tell them 85 South sent you. So use the broken play promo code, 100% match. Prize Picks entries can be made in 60 seconds or less, especially if a game finna start. I done seen, I, I done did mine in 22 seconds. I got the record. Prize Picks is safe and offers fast withdrawals. Download Prize Picks today and play daily fantasy sports with us. Make sure you use the promo code Broken Play when you sign up. Thank you. Speaking of doing it for CP3, we knew it was coming. I think everybody knew it was coming except him. He said he found out from his son that he got traded. CB3 stop line. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they were trying to trade you while the season was going. While y'all was in the... As soon as you got hurt, they said, oh, we got to get Buddy up out of here. And I hate that for him. Yeah, for sure. Bro, why... It's like, why y'all doing... He's a legend, bro. You don't just pass a legend around like that. Boy in Washington, D.C. Finna play with the Wizards. I hope it's a buyout. Yeah, more but, than likely, yeah. Where we go, Marcel? Um, I go right back to Phoenix. Look, bro, I know y'all don't. Want you, <laughs> but they can't, what? No, they can't sign him again. Oh man, you can go to Boston. I don't like it. No, I say Clippers. Just go ahead and go back to the Clippers. Right Clippers. Lakers, Clippers. Clippers. I'm hearing Clippers. Yeah, they would love to have. I him. would like him with uh, LeBron. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. And if he can't go play with LeBron, go play with Joker. Joker make anybody. <laughs> hey, you gonna play with Joker? They'll be like, boy, CB3 dunking it all now. <laughs> Joker had him training with his horses. But Bradley Bill to the Suns. I feel like that's good, but this the only thing. Y'all gotta get a bench in Phoenix. That ain't what beat y'all. Y'all could have had two more shooters. Denver just didn't get tired. Right. They deep. They deep. Y'all need a bench. I think they got a total of, with Bradley Beal coming to the team. They got a total of three players on that team. Now. Five. They got five. Sign, yeah, they the got country, five. Yeah, they got five. Aiden, Booker, hey. KD, uh, stop, Bradley stop, Beal, stop. and Cameron Do Payne. not count no DeAndre Aiden <laughs> as a player on that team. He is an assistant coach or something. I don't know what he is, but he sure don't play. Who was the other player? Cameron Payne. That's the one who be dancing though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pain all right. Pain all right. But DeAndre, hey. DeAndre gone though. It's it's obvious he gone. Yeah, I don't know where he's going to. He might need to go to Canada. Nah, he need to go to Alaska. They need to start a team in Alaska. <laughs> Shout out my boy who's watching over there in Alaska. We're gonna try to get you a team. We're gonna see Aiden over there, Sabonis. <laughs> <laughs> D'Angelo <laughs> Russell. Dino. Yeah. yeah. Uh what my boy at the uh the next? Uh Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. Got yeah, we said it. It's going to be the Alaska garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan is selling his Hornet steak. No matter how great of a player he was, he done gave up. He said, I can't do nothing with it. <laughs> I can't Facts. do nothing with it. But, bro, did you see the money he bought it for and what he's selling it for? Yeah. Lick. Man. Flip. Big flip. Hey. I don't care what y'all be talking about in their rap music. If you ain't doing flips like that, I don't want to hear. 180 to 1.7 Billy. What? And he still got a minority stake, still. Yeah. So he's still going to be getting money on the team. <laughs> hey, how many years, D? How many years was that? How many years he's with uh, the Hornets? No, he, yeah, he bought it. They started the Bobcats in early 2000, yeah, like, oh. Um, I don't know. Somebody got to look that up. I don't even want to be He bought it. Was it the Bobcast? Yeah. They was the Bobcast. But look, bro, that's like 50 mil a year. Nah, I'm way off. I'm way off. We got the research department. Yeah. 2010? All right. No, that's the Hornets, though. Yeah, that's Hornets. Bobcast. 
So real quick, right, y'all bear with us. We finna do math right quick. Yeah. So a billion. Okay. How many? How many millions? Nine hundred nine. Oh, I'm yeah, way off. In on. 2010, Michael Jordan paid a reported 180 million for a minority stake in Char- Charlotte Bobcats. Oh, okay. I guess. Whatever it is, that's a crazy flip. I'm not finna hurt my head. I feel like he was just tired, like, yo, y'all trash, bro. Like, not not even that. It's like, he looking at the team, he like, let me get this money while it's hot. <laughs> he seeing how players messing up in the league, you like, let me get that money right quick. A couple of his players, too, were wild. Yeah. Out. There's some young badass kids in Yeah, when he yeah, saw. Bo Wright, yeah, uh, when he saw, he saw PJ Washington. Oh. Ain't no telling with Melo on. Oh, just my God. Under the radar. And LaMelo daddy. Yeah. He like, oh, no. Hopefully he stay like that. We don't need to hear no more. Yeah, no, nah, we got to protect oh, yeah. LaMelo for sure. So, look, let's get to it. They handed Josh suspension down. They handed it down last week right after we posted our show. Everybody said, I can't wait to y'all talk about it, man. You got to wait a whole nother seven days. But we here now. Was the suspension too lenient? Too lenient? Yeah. Too much. 25 games? Did, uh, what, did, what did he get the first time? He, he didn't only get got eight. Eight games. Yeah. Am um, I right? I don't know, bro. That's how it was in high school. You get you fight the first time, you probably get up five days. The second time, you get ten days. It double up. <laughs> All right, that's good. I don't know. <laughs> right. I can't say... I can't speak on the suspension, but I just feel like he just he just dropping the ball anyway, especially with the uh him showing the toy gun after the fact. And lighting like, a candle that with shit the toy was gun. Yeah, that shit was now this the thing. I seen uh reports that he said the league is targeting him. Bro, you are on Instagram live. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Nobody's making you pick a phone up and press Go live. You got three seconds to reevaluate going live. They do a countdown. It's three, two. You can stop at two and say, let me put the gun down. No. Bruh, I feel like don't even show no more guns. You lighting the candle up. Bruh, you shouldn't say the word gun. You shouldn't listen to gunner. <laughs> like, bro, it's it's to the point. I don't want to be. I don't want to play Call of Duty. I don't want to hear gun sounds in my music. I'm getting my mind back focused. John ja Morant is a hell of a player, but look, they don't took all this off the game of basketball, and you just focusing on the negative. Man, I hope he come back from this 25 game suspension. Ball so ball so hard where they say, hey, we know you ain't get that super max contract, but we are gonna give you some incentives. Where you could get your money up, cause he deserved the money. You you playing hard, you you going so crazy. Then you got somebody like Ben Simmons getting the same money as you. That's crazy. Now that's crazy. That's who they need to sneak a gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Draymond Green is a free agent now. Where we see Draymond Green at, man? In France with, with LeBron, his best with, with his LeBron. bestie. I see my it's clear where he want to go. You think so? Yeah, man. That nigga going to the Lakers. LeBron needs somebody like that. Yeah. LeBron wants somebody to punch somebody on the yeah, team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, D'Angelo Russell, y'all want to shoot? Great man. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> they gonna treat him like a dog. They gonna sick him. <laughs> and you know, it ain't gonna be no cameras. No, no footage getting leaked with LeBron. You ain't never seen nothing get leaked with LeBron. The man been in the league nineteen years. You ain't seen him walk down a hotel lobby. You ain't seen nothing. Think about it. You see him reading books. And- oh, he he want that leak. <laughs> he he be having the book upside down. He be <laughs> don't seen, post that one. <laughs> I seen when he ran down the escalator the other way trying to escape them hoes. Oh yeah, that was funny. <laughs> he wanted you to see that. <laughs> yeah. Soon as that camera stopped, man, y'all hold catch up. <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> had to make sure y'all hold keep up with your wife. Rude shit with the way. Oh yeah, he wanted that leak. He with his wife. Yeah, I'm with the family. <laughs> I got a, I got a LeBron story. Uh, what? Real quick. Go ahead. So um, this is way back way back in the day. I'm probably like ten or eleven or something like that. Twenty two thousand three. Um, whatever. So he's in Atlanta. Me and a couple of friends. We like we know it's like yo, that's that's LeBron. That's LeBron. Like yo, well, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. And we like overheard him talking to his people. Like keep them little niggas away from me. And he kept it moving. <laughs> Hey, 
<laughs> we got to start running these stories by dumb <laughs> before y'all just tell them. <laughs> them, because I... I don't want I want the show to be authentic because I, I pray dumb. I hope you edit and cut that out. <laughs> Them 28 seconds I can't get back. <laughs> I don't blame LeBron. LeBron gonna see this and say, I knew it was a reason I ain't want them little niggas around me. <laughs> Look what that little nigga grew up to be. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, at 10, how can <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Dame is expected to stay in Portland. Bro, I don't I don't know why Dame. But can't nobody say you ain't loyal, boy. Dame is loyal to the end. Why? It's like a it's like a Do anybody want to go play in Portland? No. Man, oh, y'all didn't see this. <laughs> she said if they don't trade Zion, <laughs> she leaking the sex tape. Oh, she's dirty, man. She's doing too much. I tell you this, leak them. That's going <laughs> to help the Pelican State. <laughs> like, oh, we got to start watching some more games. These Pelicans, I feel like you can use any, any publicity. I feel like she's going to leak it on draft night, man. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, Zion might have made a mistake. Yeah, that was the wrong one. Facts. You heard, Marco? <laughs> Ain't like he doing it while, while he playing the game. Go ahead, Donna. Really, like, what is wrong with leaking the sex tape? It's just sex. Everybody do it. You ain't supposed to watch it if it ain't you. So if they do leak it, like you, like you said, let go. It's going to go out. Now, if he ain't confident in himself, <laughs> now that's what, how she's saying it, he might be embarrassed by something if she threatened him like that. Yeah. So he probably like, yeah, y'all go ahead and trade me. I don't want this to get out. <laughs> but if you doing what you supposed to do, baby, drop it. The way right. she acting. Make me a collaborator. Might, she might, he, they might be on some weird <laughs> shit, the way they talking. Yeah, he might be, the, but you got to think, he from South Carolina. <laughs> Ain't no telling. He probably in the foreplay. He probably walk. He probably walk around like a little lion, and, and she the lion tamer. It ain't. It, you never know what's going on. I love Dallas. Yeah. And Brandon Ingram's like, why you love Dallas? Hey man, I love Dallas, man. Love Dallas. Yeah, I don't be watching our Zion stuff. I don't know what might pop up sometime. I like, yeah. Man, she doing a little too much, though. I feel like the NBA... You say a little? She might do. <laughs> the NBA might send somebody after her. Man, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not on, not on this uh, yeah, broadcast. Yeah. Nigga. But we got a lot of editing to do today. <laughs> y'all are wild. At <laughs> least y'all waited to the last episode. So we done sat through nine episodes. Marcel never thought to tell that boring story. <laughs> He waited an episode. I thought I got some laughs, man. And then, you know. We laughed at you. <laughs> <laughs> Not with you, brother. Lou Williams officially retired. Shout out to the six, man. I had to speak on that last, man. Coming from the city of Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if people know this, if you ever watching, you know what I'm saying? Lou Williams, you know how it was high school players that were like gods and legends growing up? Lou Williams was one of them type of players. Like, people, you would hear about it, like, and just go. And I, you know why I like Lou so much, bro? He branded that six man. Yeah. A lot of people didn't, you know, they be like, oh, that's just a six man. He made it cool. Yeah. Drake even made a song about him. Six men like Lou Will, two girls like Lou, Lou Will. Man, what you talking about? I know some starters who ain't got two girls. It's the six man. Hanging with Allen Iverson, you go to jet man, Lou Will was that guy. Yeah, like drafted out of high school, like he's not that tall, which is like mm -hmm. he, 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 he one of them real ones. We gotta show. get Lou on the show. Definitely. He'll I, be on here soon. Yeah, well, I can see Lou coming on here, you know, pop, you know, just have we'll probably have him a little retirement party, a broken playway. Yeah, yeah, five yeah. four with that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, it ain't gonna be cute as that. <laughs> it gonna be player. <laughs> well, do not cute, baby. It player right here. Yeah, for sure. But no, man. Shout out to Lou Will, man. Do you do you think he had why you think he had another year or two in the tank? I feel like he could have played one more. At least one more. Because just what he did in 2021 with the Hawks in that Philly series, I feel like he could have played one more. Yeah, and then one thing I had remember him saying, he was like, with his minutes, like, you know, like wear and tear on his body, like how most people, even like you remember Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford had a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Vince Carter. Yeah, fresh legs and stuff like that. So we got to wait and see. But shout out to Lou Will, man. Congratulations on, on a well, well-lit career. Man. Hall, most points. You say Hall of Fame? Yeah, yeah Hall of Fame. Little, For sure. Most points fame. ever off the bench. And then be sure. Yeah. I give yeah. him that. It should be considered for sure. Definitely consider, yeah. You know, you never know because sometimes when certain players up, they now they want to raise the stakes. But I know who will never be one, that garbage bastard Sabonis. And we're going to come back. We got some highlights, got some lowlights. We got some special guests. This is going to solidify the Broken Play show. And y'all, a lot of people be saying, man, I just feel like y'all y'all bigger than this. We bigger than, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we are. And you just wait and see. So clap it up for yourselves. This is episode 10. And we'll be back. Justin, man, pleasure having you on, man. Um, what's been what's been new? What's been new in the sports field and this sports reporting period? There's a lot of changes being made. Oh uh, man, you know it's a ton of changes. As you know, like the finals just ended, the draft is about to happen, and the chaos that is NBA free agency. We've already seen a couple of things happen. I'm sure we're gonna talk about it, but within the sports world, bro. This is a working in the sports world. This is a 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days, 366. If you, if you include leap year, nothing ever stops it. Cause as soon as baseball, I mean, as soon as basketball ends, baseball is here. And before you know it, training camp is going to be open. And then you got all these other type of stories going on, like stuff with Zion. And obviously you talk about Jaws suspension and like, where's Dame going to go? And that's just basketball. Like we talk about football, there's still a bunch of free agents out there that still be on. You so. got Cook, Dalvin Cook, Bruh. and I'm saying that they saying they want to team up with each other. Well, Dalvin will want to play with uh, DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, it it makes total sense, and uh, I would love to see it happen. But what, <laughs> Bruh, unfortunately, what would be a good fit though. That's see, it's one thing to be a good fit, and then it's another thing: can that fit work financially? That, that's the that's the main part about that. Somebody like, got to so, yeah, I, yeah, somebody going to have to take a pay cut. And, and you know, just given the, the state of the league and given the state of the, the transition, uh, uh, the position that is running back in the NFL, we know how, I mean, unfortunately, that's such a short shelf life and the league and, treats it as such. So, but yeah, go ahead. And what I was, no, I was, I was agreeing to you about the short shelf of the uh, running back because a person like Dalvin Cook, Who's like you? You he feel like the, he's the motor of the Minnesota Vikings, and then you so willing to willingly like to let him go. It, 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 I'm not sure how that is actually going to work for Minnesota because, of course, you know the uh, the main cog of that offense is Justin Jefferson, right? You know, it's yeah, Justin Jefferson, but, and but, but I feel you, like Dalvin opens yeah. up so much. Exactly. Kirk exactly. Cousins, don't scratch like Kirk Cousins. I think that's who you should have released. Hey, look, I mean, they weren't going to release him, but I, I'm not mad at that at all. Because like you, you just said the main thing, Dalvin Cook opens that offense up. Right. Dalvin Cook makes it so you can't double team Justin Jefferson every snap. You know what I mean? And now I get it. He's supposed to make 14 million, but like, bro, this dude is still 28 years old. That is still young. You know what I mean? I get from the production and the the damage that running backs take on a on a or on a yearly basis, but like, I get a lot of teams are doing this running back by committee thing right now. But like, when you got somebody like a Dalvin Cook who is still even even with the injuries, he's got four consecutive thousand yard seasons, bro. Like that's not something that you just rinse and repeat and just and just go out and get another guy that can do that. So to answer your question, I mean, there, there, it's probably not enough passes to go around, but like 
I would love to see Dalvin in Miami because, you know, he's from there. You know, you put him in that offense. You give Tua another weapon. He can dump it out the backfield, too. You don't have to worry about him getting hit as much. Now, what do you do? I don't even know if this works, but imagine an offense with Dalvin Cook in the backfield and your receivers are Cheetah, Tyreek Hill, Waddle, and D-Hop. Like, that, that, I mean, it won't that's happen, unfair. but that, no, that, that's not fair. It, it wouldn't be fair. So, I don't know where they go realistically to make it work. Like, I don't want to see them both go to, like, to New England. I don't want to see, right. I've seen, t- yeah, I've seen t- Tennessee brought up for a D, uh, DeAndre Hopkins name, but I think DeAndre Hopkins is like, look, bro, I'm trying to get a ring. Tennessee okay. is not going to get me the ring in the way that I needed to. And obviously, Derrick Henry is still there, too. So, uh Realistically, I don't think they're gonna. I, I don't think it's gonna work in terms of them teaming together unless somebody takes a massive pay cut. But I would love to see Dalvin Cook go back home to Miami, and I don't know if this is gonna work because they still got to get Chris Jones, the Chiefs defensive lineman, his contract situation set up. But if you put DeAndre Hopkins on that Kansas Kansas City Chiefs squad, that's a repeat right there. That's a repeat, bro. Like I don't know what you do with that. You give Pat Mahomes any more weapon, it's a repeat. Like, I feel like Pat Mahomes, he's a special player within himself. But somebody like DeAndre Hopkins, who people, I feel like, are, you don't realize he still has so much to offer. Bro, bro, you know, you know the wild thing about D Hop is? He's been in the league for a couple of years, and obviously, you know, he's known as one of the best pass catchers that we've seen in quite some time. But, like, outside of maybe one or two years with uh, Deshaun Watson down in Houston, and the thing with Kyle Murray in Arizona never really took off the way that we thought it would. It never would. Give him a legitimate starting quarterback, and I the, the possibilities are endless. And if he signs with Kansas City, and this is just a hypothetical, if he signs with Kansas City, he might not even be the number one receiver on a team because he's still going to look for Kelsey first. So if you put Kelsey right there controlling the middle and you put Who DeAndre Hopkins on the him? outside, bro, Mahomes would throw 60 touchdowns. He would throw 60 touchdowns, dog. Like, it's 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 ridiculous, bro. Man, I know we're talking about football. Basketball-wise, do you think Ooh. the suspension with John ja Morant? Here's the thing with the suspension with John ja Morant. Uh it's all, it, it will already serve a punishment if you look at it from a financial standpoint. The way the people were talking at first, I thought it was I thought we weren't gonna see Ja till after the All Star. Yeah, they had, like they were gonna hide it. I was like, yeah, hey, I, I, he, when, when when the commissioner was like, well, we'll talk about it after the finals. Man, you could have been yeah. twenty five games. He made it seem yeah. like the league was gonna stop. Like people gonna start boycotting the last game or two. <laughs> I I didn't like the way, and and I give a lot of respect to Adam Silver, the way he's handled himself and and conducted himself as commissioner of the league since taking over uh, almost a decade ago. But I didn't like that move by him to be like, oh, oh, well, we already got a punishment, but we not going to tell you to after the finals. It's just like, it was like one of those things. You remember being out with your your mom or your dad or your parents or your grandparents and you act up in public? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, wait till we get home. And you'd be like, yeah, just do it now. Get it over now. with. <laughs> like, let's leave. Like, you got yeah, so, a little bit, like, but you know in the back of your head, like, it's going to be over. Man, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, yeah. So the, the, the suspension, he misses 25 games. You can only miss, I believe, 17 games to be eligible for right. all NBA and all that. So if you think about it, he missed, what, 36, 37 million by not making it this past season. He's not going to make it again next season. That's another, what, 30 million. And then you got all the other stuff like on the court, off the court endorsements. He could be losing up to potentially a hundred million dollars and all this. So 25 million, 25 million, 25 games, which feels right around the time. And I have to look at the schedule once they release it, but that feels right around the time of Christmas. And the NBA is still a business too, right? He's like, look, we're going to schedule. (laughs) Exactly. We're going to schedule Memphis. Bruh, to come yeah, back on Christmas Day seven, or bro. shortly, bro. You that that I mean, the NBA. You don't even have to market that. That's gonna market itself. So I, I feel like, mm, I feel like the the punishment. I feel like I'm 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 fine. I'm fine with that. The only thing I hope with Ja Morant is just like, bro, you 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 have to make better decisions moving forward. You know what I mean? And I I get it. You. 
this second the second infraction, yeah, it wasn't on team property or a team plane. You weren't on a road trip. This was your off season, but it's like you know how it is when you work at a job when you're you're a face of a company. You can't be going out here making decisions like that, especially when you look your boss in the face and be like, "Yo, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this ever again." And then two months later, you make the same mistake. It's like, look, I'm always gonna be pro player. I'm always gonna support the players. But bro, you cannot make dumbass decision after dumbass decision and expect no, not to I get think, some sort of discipline. I think it probably if it would have been like six or seven months down the line, like, oh, he relapsed. But dog, no, yeah. you can't relapse that. Bro. You just got in trouble. Bro, you just got in trouble for the same thing. And outside of the whole NBA stuff, man, we know how this world operates. We know how, right. like, there are people that just sit on social media all day just waiting for a celebrity to post something like, oh, they over here, they they over there. Like, I mean, I, I use the 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 example of Pop Smoke, for for instance. He was on Instagram basically saying, yo, I got this nice crib here. Next thing you know, a couple hours later, people run up in that crib and shoot him and kill him. You know what I mean? We know people just, like, you can't invite that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you're seen as a come up. You are seen as like a badge of honor in these type of environments. So it's like, Ja, you are worth $200 million, bro. Like, you do not have to portray that you are living a lifestyle that, honestly, that there is no ultimate end goal out of that. So it's like, you over here posting around. I don't care if it was a fake gun, if it was actually a lighter or whatever the case may be. It, if it looks like a gun, the, you know, presentation is 90% of the decision anyway. So it's like, I feel like 25 games is enough from a business standpoint, but it won't be enough if Ja continues to make the same decisions and keep I, the same I, type of energy I, around him. I honestly think after this, like him looking forward, he know he can't mess up. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, he can't. He's going to be like a model citizen. And then you know what's so good about it? He's still young. So it's like, yeah, yeah. He, he got so much to him. And speaking of come up, what, what about Zion Williamson's situation? Man, oh man. So I, I was talking with some people earlier today, man. And like, I still see this young lady, Mariah Mills. She, she's still tweeting. And at first I was like, damn, Zion, like, this is not a good look for you. But honestly, bro, it's like the more she continues to tweet, the more she's continuing to, to make Zion's case or his team around him in his case. Cause like, she's looking unhinged. She's looking like there is no end she goal out strong. of all of this. And, yeah, she can't be stopped. And I'm just saying, like, what, she, what she's doing on social media, that's considered cyberbullying, threatening to release sex tapes of her and Zion. That is technically revenge porn. And, like, this, this is harassment. And, like, if I'm Zion's legal team, I'm like, yo, she's creating the case for us. Just let her go. But, you know, it, it, I, I hope this is a lesson to Zion. I hope this is a lesson to, to all athletes. Honestly, I hope it's a lesson to just people in general. Like, whoever you choose... To, to be romantic with, with, lay down with, you got to understand that, like, once you do that, you are no longer in control of the entire situation, especially if you're somebody of Zion Williams' stature. When, when people best, see you... We, we all can say sometimes yeah. you can get caught up in the moment. Yeah, you can. Look, everybody's human. But in terms of her, in terms of what she's doing, she's not helping her case at all. Now, how this impacts Zion with the New Orleans Pelicans will be very interesting moving forward. Because if you read the reports, then yes, the people within the organization, they are wondering what the hell is going on. And obviously Zion hadn't been on the court in a long time. I honestly believe if Zion was on the court playing 65, 70 games a year, helping get the Pelicans in the playoffs and making advancements throughout the playoffs, this wouldn't be as big of a story. Right, right. But the fact that we haven't seen Duke play and the only news that and comes up is, is this. Play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But your highlight. So, <laughs> exactly, bro. You better at least play 65, 70 games next year. Figure out how to. <laughs> right, right. So look, Bradley Bill to the Suns. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. So I live right outside of Washington, DC, right? And you know, I know for you a long like time. Three. Yeah. <laughs> so like here we <laughs> Here, we've been hearing about this mythical Bradley Bill trade for about three years, right? 
And I was reading this really good uh, column in the Washington Post yesterday by the journalist Candace Buckner. And she was basically saying how, like, this was three years in the making. But but obviously, when you wait three years to make a trade like this, you're not going to get the return that you ultimately want. Because the more you leave something on the show, the 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 I guess the the value of it. It appreciates a little bit. Not saying that Bradley Bill isn't a, a, a valuable player within the yeah, league. Yeah, they, they was winning uh, for four, three years ago. Yeah. And it, it that, that no trade clause, when you give a player a no trade clause, you're basically telling him whenever you're ready to leave, you, can, you create the terms of your own exit. So it's like, oh, we may want to trade you to Atlanta and get this package, but if you don't want to go to Atlanta, we basically have to – subject to your to your your request and that's what happened and that's why you get Bradley Bill for you know Chris Paul Landry Shamit and a couple of second round picks instead of getting some first round picks which Phoenix did not have because of the Kevin Durant trade so so I guess yeah yeah I mean so Phoenix has three legitimate scores they have DeAndre Aiden it'll be interesting to see if he stays or if he's on the move this season but I mean, if you had to pick a winner in that trade, it's got to be Phoenix, right? They got Bradley Bill, whereas Washington, they got Chris Paul, who, I mean, I find it hard to believe that he would ever suit up in a Washington Wizards uniform because this team, this team is the epitome of rebuilding, bro. The Wizards, the Wizards may end up being the worst team in the league next year. Who do you you think would be a good fit for CP3? Because I I see a lot of people saying Boston. mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So... You see him going back at, uh, on the West Coast, like, you know, playing with the Lakers or somebody of that sort, such? I do. If he goes back to the West Coast, I do believe the Lakers would be the one to try to go and, and um, get him, mainly because if you sign him with the Lakers and LeBron would more than willing to be playing off ball, even more than he would this year because he's got his guy, Chris Paul, there. And he's somebody who can initiate the offense. He's somebody you can honestly trust a little bit more in pressure pack situations, whereas D'Angelo Russell did not really show up in the playoffs as uh, on, on a continuous basis that they needed him to this year. Uh, you mentioned Boston. I think Boston would, would be uh, – that's an interesting choice to, to, to transition that offense with uh, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Uh, I don't know well, if he goes – Yeah, I, I – I don't think Chris Paul is going to sign with the contender. Like they're, they're, he's not, I mean, he's in what year 18, 19 at this point. Like he, he's not going to sign. He's not going to play for the Washington wizards because I mean, Chris Paul has a couple of years left at most in the league. So I, I think he's going to sign with a contender. And if he goes to the Lakers, that is very, that, it's a very interesting fit. It'll be interesting to see if they can cont- continue to like push the pace as they were, especially once they got their groove in like the last third of the season. Chris Paul is more of a walk it up the court, set up the offense where the Lakers like to run, but um, there's always ways around that. So it um, feels like the Lakers are the most obvious choice, but this is the NBA, bro. Like nothing is nothing is really team. obvious. Especially yeah. with Draymond Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draymond. Draymond is another interesting you know cat. You uh, things, but you like, nah, Draymond, he, he not going to opt out. But that was some yeah. for, it to, for it just to come – Come all out like he he actually yeah. all out. Yeah, it, I mean, it was a surprise, but it was also I, again from a business standpoint, bro. From a financial standpoint, it it makes sense. I, I don't think part of me. I don't really believe he's going to leave Golden State, and I don't believe Golden State is going to let him leave because they. I mean, Steve Kerr said said it. He was like, "Yo, we're not a championship contender without Draymond Green," and you can make the argument. That outside of Stephen Curry, Draymond Green is the most important player on that team. Right. Not saying from, oh, I mean, not yeah. saying, I'm saying say he's not the best, but just the motor, mm-hmm. just getting everybody mm-hmm. involved, everybody in their spot. He's the engine that keeps it going. Yeah, yeah. Because also, bro, we talk about the Warriors. We've been hearing about these young players on the Warriors for so long. Like, oh, they're the new class is going to lead them. Like Jordan Poole and consistent this year. Now, granted, a lot of that had to do with. The punch in training camp, and that that just really spiraled it. I think with that, he don't know if he's making a wrong mistake or right mistake, and he don't know when Draymond might come and have to talk to him again. Yeah. So it's yeah, like, and 
He kind of you, you can't you can't walk on eggshells like that. Not not in the league where you have to make split second decisions 30, 40 times a game. You know what I mean? You can't be looking over your shoulder like, oh damn, did I shoot when I should have passed? Did I pass when I should have shot? Like you can't do that. So hopefully m- moving forward for Jordan Poole, who I I do believe he's a very talented player. Oh, man, he a hoop. But yeah, he can hoop, bro. It's just he has to make he, he has to get better at decision making on the court. And you know, elsewhere, if you if you, if you read the tabloids, but uh, I I I don't see. I mean, who knows? But I I just really don't see a situation where Draymond is is not in a Golden State Warriors jersey next year because I I don't see Draymond really like oh well Detroit may be able to offer him a lot of money. You know, he's from Michigan. Oh, like, go back home. But Draymond Green is not going to the Pistons, bro. Like, Draymond Green is going to... I hope not. That dude has been... Huh? I said, I hope not. But with Draymond, you know how yeah. some people, after they have their rings, they feel like... But Draymond talked too much trash. To yeah, be bro. Like... Pistons. And you know what I'm saying? You got... You don't got 20 wins. That can't be... Yeah. Draymond. We want Draymond... Nah, bro. Trash. Like... Okay. He go, he's going to get money, one, because obviously he's going to sign like a nice contract. Let's just say he, he signs a big contract in, in Golden State. He's going to get the money from there. His podcast is doing well, so you, I'm sure he's getting some sort of revenue from that. And, like, this dude works basically part-time for, like, Turner and TNT. So, like, he has, and he, he's a very, very savvy businessman off the court in terms of his investment. So he's getting money. I just can't envision a scenario where Draymond isn't competing for – a, a title in some regard. Now, whether he wins he it or not, that's to go play somewhere else. I think it it would maybe it, if he envisioned a world where it's like y'all want to go play with LeBron in LA. Maybe I, I'll do some tricky with my contract. But there's only a few options I could ever see Draymond taking a pay cut for to 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 to, to go play there. That's not you know Golden State. And I, I I just can't see I can't envision a world where he's not hooping with Steph Curry next year and and Clay Thompson because that dude is used to this type of pressure he's used to that type of platform and spotlight now sometimes he makes the wrong decision I ain't gonna sit here and deny that but honestly the good with Draymond yeah, drastically think, overwhelms man. the bad oh yeah mm-hmm. and then you For you sure. want somebody like Draymond on your team you know he gonna have your yeah yeah hell yeah, yeah that. that that dude is fearless on the court, bro. That dude is, he's scared of no one. Like, again, is he going to make the right decision all the time? No, nobody does. But when you're going into war, you're going into a battle, you're going into a must-win game on the road. Draymond on my team. Yeah. I guarantee, like, Draymond in a must-win game on the road may give you eight points, six rebounds, four assists, and two steals. But that layup he going to give you, that rebound, that block nobody shot. Nobody saw him coming. Bro, it's going to come at the absolute most critical time. And he knows when to show. And, and again, I am I, I I just can't see Draymond, Draymond not being in situations like that. I can't see him playing for a 16-win team or a 22-win team in Detroit when games in February don't even mean anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's already playing in his offseason. He's pumped up to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, at, at that point, you're just doing it for the money. You know, especially at this point in time in Draymond's career, if he was like third or fourth year guy in the league, then it'd be a little different. So, Justin, I'm gonna ask you this: Who, who some sports reporters you you, uh, you like you like watching and you know hearing that take on the game? I because uh, we see that Shannon Sharp he done left first take. Uh, yeah. Yep. So you know people moving around. No, he left undisputed. My bad. I said first take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you? Yeah, think? I, I know what you meant. Yeah, yeah. What uh-huh. you think with the moving around? Like who who do you see that you listen to and you know that you watch as a, a sport? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, you just mentioned Shannon Sharp. He's he's always yeah, like Shannon Sharp. You know, I mean, he he's always entertaining. I I love his I love his takes on on a lot of things. Um, other people who I really really enjoy, uh, my homegirl Monica McNutt. I think she she's a star. She um she's on first take a lot. She's on around the horn with me a lot. She works. At, she lives in New York, so she covers like the Knicks for you know the big New York stations up there. She's dope. Um, my boy Ryan Clark, my boy Marcus, yeah, Marcus Spears, big swagoo, uh, Bomani Jones, oh, man. Uh, David Dennis, my girl L Duncan, Jamel Hill, 
Like these, these are people who like, and and there's so many more. I know I'm gonna get in trouble by naming names and forgetting to name some names, but like those are people who like I really look forward to hearing. Uh, my boy, my boy Kazim, uh, he's up in New York as well. He he's a great uh, sports commentator. Uh, and just, bro, there's just so many, man. Kimberly Martin, she's a great NFL reporter. I, so I look at all these people as peers, but also look at them as like, yo, like. I value what they do. I value what they bring to the game. And it's just like, I, they, they make me better. It's not, I don't necessarily view it as a competition because the competition means like, oh, well, I hope this person falls off a little bit so I can take their spot. I'm not a hater, bro. I've never been a hater and I don't, I don't even know how that feels. So I, I look at people. Yeah, for sure. I just, it's enough, it's enough room for all of us to win, bro. And I love shit, man. I love what you got going on here. Like just just shooting the shit with you talking about all these all these stories. Like I love seeing people just create their own platform and really, because you know what? Like you created your own platform and you could have been like, yeah, this is what I want to do and I'm gonna do it. But then like three weeks, a month later, you could be like, I don't really feel like doing it no more. I've seen so many people start things but not really commit no. to them. Like with us and the whole team, I, I feel like, and I. I'll, not to be on record, he could be off record. Mm. Are they briefing y'all about about our show? Like, you know, what I'm saying, watch out. <laughs> mm, no, nah, nobody's nobody's ever said anything to me. I just follow y'all because oh, one, so I've always don't... yeah. No, nobody's ever said like, don't you dare do that show. No, nobody's no, ever... no, not. I'm talking about briefing. Like, oh, it's a show coming on the way. Like, <laughs> we we got to gear up. Like, making y'all work a little harder. Oh well, I mean, I I bring I bring the show up all the time. Just be like, yo, this is what I'm watching. I'm loving what they're doing, and you know, you get a chance to speak about sports in a way that you know I work for ESPN. I can't really speak. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't yeah, so and it's it's you'll That's say why some stuff. To clean this episode up a little better. <laughs> you know, you know. What I'm oh no, no, no! It's it's all good, bro. We just talking about sports, man, and I I just love it, man, and I love. What you doing? I love the commitment that you are showing to this joint, and I promise you, man, it's only going to get bigger. You got a great team around you, the, like the whole team. Like y'all, y'all have shown me nothing but love from like day, I, day one, and I, I've been following just all the, the all the all the shows, the brands that y'all have under this umbrella, and I just love the fact that it's just like a bunch of young people, just like just having the des- desire to create relatable content. You know right. what I mean? Whether it's the 85 South show, whether it's Black Market, whether it's your show, like all of that stuff feels like y'all. It ain't nothing fake or phony or, or, or and it's not authentic. Like everything is like true, true to itself. That's why I watch it. I get on the Peloton. I just cut the I cut the joint on YouTube and I let y'all ride out. And I'm just like, I'm gonna let y'all guide me through this. Like and that's what a lot of my people are doing. I, I, I send a lot of y'all clips in the group chats. You know what I mean? Like. And between y'all, between so that's y'all, and, I see when they saw it. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Probably so. Man, look, man, look. Group chats happen, bro. Between between y'all and what Mason Cam are doing up there in New York, like yeah, right. y'all are y'all are changing a lot of stuff, right, bro. I'm, I'm gonna have to steal something from you too. Next time we do the Zoom, you are gonna see some books all. Right. About- <laughs> I'm gonna have about 50 books up there. Hey man, look, let, let me know, bro. I, I'll, I'll even send you something. Just let me know, man. Like it, it's always good to have some books behind you. That's what somebody told me a long time ago. It was like, oh, just have some books. It just looks great. And I'm like, all right, cool. So my wife put this together. So shout out to her. Shout out to your wife. Look, I don't know if you can see. This what type of stuff we got on our. <laughs> the Bulls number thirty two. Yeah, it's supposed to be Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know a wild story about that? So if you go back and like look at like the draft order from like 79 when Matt Magic Johnson and Larry Bird and all those boys got drafted into the NBA, there was a lottery. And and, and the lottery was for the number one pick. And the last two teams within that, you know, I guess lottery to pick the to have the right to pick Magic Johnson were the Lakers and the Chicago Bulls. So I'm looking at that. I'm like, damn, was that is that what Magic would have looked like in a Bulls jersey? Because he almost tell me what he would have looked like. <laughs> so you can tell oh, people that's Magic. <laughs> this this '79. So who did the Bulls end up getting that year? Do you um, know? I'm not sure. If you give me, I can look it up real quick. 
Evidently, but... it wasn't nobody because they were right back at it at eighty three. <laughs> right, for sure. Hold on, I got I got it right here. So, so the Bull <laughs> Magic Johnson went number one overall to the Lakers. Dave Greenwood out of UCLA went number two overall to the Bulls. Hence why you said they were right back there in uh, 83, 84. Bill Cartwright went number three to the Knicks. Uh, Sidney Moncrief went five to Milwaukee. Okay. Um, let me see who else is in there. We know that, that Vinny Johnson, the microwave went seven. Jim Paxson, damn, Cliff Robinson was in this draft. Oh, they had, yeah, it was some heat. Yeah, they, 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 they had some names in there. But yes, the Bulls drafted Dave Greenwood. Mm, they couldn't mm. have that. Then if they get magic, then they wouldn't have got Mike. Nah, because they, they would have been too good. So you just never know how these things happen. Yeah. Man, I appreciate you joining us, man. Nothing but much love and respect to you, man. It's a it's an honor. We was talking about who who we should get on, and we we Ryan kept saying we got to get Justin on first. We got to get Justin on first. Cause a lot of people been, oh my God. You got to get Stephen A on here. And I, I kept telling Stephen A, no, stop begging. We got to get Justin. <laughs> hey, look, I appreciate y'all having me on. Y'all ain't, y'all, y'all are family for real, for real. And I, I thank y'all for everything that y'all have done just in my career. When I was promoting my book last year, you know, Black Mark was one of the first shows that I that I went on. And it, now, show it now. I know we can still get them sales. Oh, yeah. Them. Oh, yeah. For any hip hop fans out there, 50 year hip hop this year, hip hop 50. I wrote this book last year as a biography on the late, great, notorious B.I.G. It was all a dream. Biggie in the world that made him. The paperback's out now. If you want to get, if you if you like audio books, the audio book is out there. Somebody will read it to you, like hardcover, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's out. It's well, out there. Yeah, sometimes our followers need that. You know, somebody. Hey, and hey man. It's going sometimes like a voice. <laughs> hey, look. You know, next time, man, I gotta I gotta read my own audio book. I didn't do it this time. Can't read it. So it was this. Uh, it's this guy. He's like really, really well known within the uh, the audio book world. He's uh, man, what was my man name? I forgot it just like that. But he, he's fired though. He's you fired though. But like, next time, him, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> you won't hear my voice, but you hear me talking. So just imagine it when when you when you read it. But uh, so it's the the book has been loved. I appreciate you know your y'all entire team doing this. And before before we get out of here, man, I, I hope you allow me to say one more thing. I know this is all within the family. I don't know him personally, but I just want to send my thoughts and my prayers and my condolences out to DC and his family and just the entire the entire the entire family y'all got going on. Uh, my heart goes out to him, his kids, uh, just all of y'all. I know this is a tough time, but the art, the light that y'all bring into this world will be the biggest tribute to her to those kids to dc so just continue doing what y'all doing i got none but love i any way i can help any of y'all please let me know because y'all have done more for me than i could have ever imagine so thank y'all for having me on and I, I got none but love in the bottom of my heart for y'all man just appreciate that man appreciate you being sincere and i can tell that from the heart how you said that man so appreciate you and nothing but love and respect to you as well king peace brother I'm just going to stop the recording in case you want to holler at uh, Ryan. Yeah! Yes, sir. So you know this is one of my favorite segments of the show, and you know why. <laughs> I just love to win. But I see some people in the, on the team don't. Um, let's get right into it. Marcel is on the worst losing streak I ever seen in the history of prize picks. Marcel, like, let, what do you be thinking before I think you? I overthink. I overthink. Ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way you overthought six weeks and you done lost six straight times. I'm due. For what? <laughs> a win. Bruh. Marcel had Shay L oh, I'm saying the name Shay Lagares. I don't know how to say his name. You don't even know how to say his <laughs> name and you, <laughs> and you put him on your prize picks. Over half a base. All he gotta do is get on first base. 
When I say a loss, all he had to do was get on base. Yeah, he went 0 for 3, man. Horrible. <sighs> boy, boy, boy. I'm sorry, guys. Nah. Oh, guys. You weren't the only one who stopped us. Dad. You had Brittany Griner over 22 points. <laughs> this is not funny. She had two. <laughs> she was injured in the first quarter. A uh, speedy recovery to Brittany Griner. It must was bad, bad luck and jinxing you for you don't have two points. It ain't my fault, man. Who fault is it? The person that injured her. Who, who did that? I can't recall her name. <laughs> That's who you should have went with. <laughs> Dumb. Had Courtney Vander points, rebounds, assists under 25. Bing. 23. Shout out to Dumb. Coming to win. I'm back in there. Yvette followed Dumb pick. Mm-hmm. Okay. And last but not least, the genius. He had a Lil Boston over 13 points. She had 23. That's how you show and prove. Oh, why the claps get so soft when it's about me? I see the I see the hate. And Marco trailed me, and he also was a winner. So if it wasn't for Thad and Marcel, it would have been. We got 1942 in the building. We got Fiji water. We got hot wings. Platters, 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 platters. Oh my God, they got Duce and Hennessy. But no, these two clowns chose. Uh, Marcel ain't stand up. You know, he he's supposed to stand up and uh and do a little twirl. Yeah. Hey um, man, it's getting so redundant. We could just put in the one for last week. <laughs> 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 but that looks cute. Everybody look at that. This is yeah, cute. he a clown. This when you not. lose, you get a clown nose. If you lose three weeks in a row, bro, more, what you if we, to but look, kid. what if everybody lose? We all gonna be some clowns. We gotta get the face paint. But I ain't finna be rocking no face clown paint? nose. So I'm winning. <laughs> we gotta get the face paint. If you get ten we weeks in a row, we paint. We gonna clown. <laughs> we gonna put you on a clown face, a whole ass clown face. Bro, so look, this week, the last week. This what this what we coming we coming to win at now. All right, I'm sticking with WNBA, man. Me too. WNBA be pretty good to me. Who want to go first? I'll go first. <laughs> you sure? Okay. Positive. All right. Uh, finish strong. I'm gonna go Alyssa Thomas. Fantasy score over forty four. I'm due. Russell Thomas, fantasy score. I'm due. I apologize to all the fans who've been tailing. Bro, Marcel. you have no fans. <laughs> 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 if you think somebody's sitting there, oh, what Marcel going to pick? No. Bro, they done seen you lose six straight times. If you did have fans, they have jumped off. Marcel, trust me, you good. <laughs> you don't have to apologize to nobody. <laughs> I'll go. Go ahead, though. I'm going to go... Uh... I'm going to go Dear Kahambi. I'm going to go under for points, 11 and a half. Um, she not really a bucket getter. You know, she been getting buckets lately, but, you know, that's not really her game. So, I'm going to go ahead and go Dear Kahambi, uh, 11 and a half under. Okay. Thad, you got your one yet? Yeah. Oh, I could go. I could go. I got Jewel Lloyd. For Seattle, over 24 and a half points. She is a hooper. Yeah, for sure. She is a hooper. Them easy. Them cash. Cash. I'm going to go Alicia Gray. Atlanta Dream under points and rebound. 25. Okay. Going against the home team. Yvette. You bet you got one, or you gonna trail? I'm Based. going with you, the expert. Somebody in the comments said a vet need to call her boyfriend back to win again. If the Lakers not playing, like he's not, he not in into it. Greg, you got one. 
What you got, baseball or what? All right, give him the mic, man. That clown, though, got you really acting like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my last pick hit, too. They just rescheduled. Yeah, they the rescheduled the game. I ain't gonna lie, but it don't count. But. <laughs> <laughs> Look, give me uh, Brandon Marsh this week to get on base. 0. 0.5 for Philly. All right. Y'all gonna learn about that 0. 0.5. What's his name? Brandon Marsh. Yeah. Oh, man, is he one of the Taco Tuesdays? Oh, okay, bet. So we got five players. Uh, Alyssa, was that more or less? It was more. Okay. Fancy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Hamby was less. Jewel Lloyd was more. Alicia Gray was less. And Brandon Marsh was more. All right, we're going to do 200. This is the last, you know what I'm saying, this is the last episode. 200 to win 2,000, man. And if we win, we're going to put us in the club in this episode. Man, bro. He's so bad. Look when he talks. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, I, oh, man. I'm finna, hey, judge me. I'm finna put it at 150, bro. It's the 150. Come on, man. 150 to win 1,500, man. I don't got no hope, man. <laughs> Raise the way you just said it, man. I don't... We locked in. When we come, when we come back, we have some special guests, man. Stay tuned for another day, and it's broken play. <laughs>
All right, so 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 basically, like growing up, like obviously, my my uh, my uh, my parents they had six six kids. So, uh-huh. um, my dad had all bought us uh, football jackets for Christmas. Gotcha. And I got the Panthers. I got a Panthers jacket. Uh, my uh, one of my older brothers, Matt, he had a Buccaneers. Phil had a Dolphins, and I can't remember who all had what, but that's how we like. We thought once we got those jackets, those were the teams that we were supposed to root for. And then when I realized, like, not only did I not know anything about football like that, I didn't have to stick with that. So for when we first got those jackets, we was like, bro, this got to, I guess this got to be my team growing up. And my brother stuck to it. Uh, my One of my other brothers had the Seahawks. So he's been a Seahawks fan since he got since the then, Since he got the jacket. Yeah. And I remember going to school, uh, middle school, and a bunch of people were talking about, like, um, I don't know. Si, I think in the transition it was the, the Panthers fan, but I, I wasn't a fan of them for long, regardless if I had the jacket. I think I started leaning more towards the Rams. Um, and then right when they started, like, I think it was like the Super Bowl or whatever, whenever I would like go around, people were saying things like, oh, yeah, the Rams this, the Rams this. Everybody was going for the Rams. And I was just like, bro, I don't. You ain't want to be like you. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm a, I guess I'm going to go for the underdog. So when I started going for the Patriots, it was literally because everybody was going for, for the Rams. Oh, because the Rams were gas during that time. Yeah, with Tori. That's Sean Tori. Like, like Torrio, yeah. uh, Marshall Falk, all Isaac that. Isaac Bruce, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kurt Warner. What, what, what do they used to call them on the field? Great That's show on turf. turf. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I, I remember. think I was too young to know anything about what they, what they called them, but it was like, yeah. all right, I'm going to go for the I go for the Rams because I like Marshall Falk. Right. And, you know, Tory Holt and all that. And Patriots was a mean underdog. Nobody seen them beating them because right. they had just and beat the and, and when I when I heard everybody kept talking about that, I was like, man, I ain't trying to be like everybody. Let me just go for the let me just go for the team right here. And you've been stuck and ever since. Just been stuck ever since. Just been stuck ever since. And that's how I know they chose me. <laughs> that's how they that's how I know, bro. And look and look look at us like six rings later. I'm the GOAT. <laughs> Cause they ain't win till you had got, got one. You know how when you watch sports, they how I know like, you know how when you when you watching your favorite team for some reason, when they lose, it's probably because you did you wasn't watching them. Like if you had you superstitious. To, like I, I think so. I, if that's what it is, that is. Like if you at work or you had something to do and you missed the game. And you wonder why your team, like, man, if I was watching them, they would have, they would have felt my presence. You know what I'm saying? They would have won. So maybe that is superstition. Bro, how you stay a Patriots team after Brady left, though? So you still locked in, man. Brady, you well, you lucky you ain't playing no more, bro. You dog food. You switch from the Patriots, like he the goat and everything. But he went and won a ring with the Bucks. Ain't got nothing to do with the past, though. <laughs> Once he went to the Bucks. You became dog fool. I ain't care what happened to you. Bro, y'all can't beat that man. <laughs> Who? Now nah, y'all still can't beat that man. Like, bro, the Patriots over with. That's the problem, man. Y'all be talking about bandwagon. Y'all just be jumping ship because your team ain't doing it, man. It's the bill. So they warned me. They, I'm not going to lie. People did warn me. They was like, hey, man, it's going to come a period of time where you have to rebuild. Everybody team went through it. We were just winning so much. I ain't used to that. You know yeah, what I'm see, yeah, you like, no. Nah. Well, I'm here now. I like the draft picks we got this, you know, got this year. Some of them still a little rocky, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. So I'm you here. keep up with, all right, that's a bet. That's we a got bet. the fastest receiver in the league right now. Who? Tyquan Thornton, man. Well, ain't nobody faster than Tyreek Hill. Tyquan Thornton. Bro, I don't care two. what they run four in the 40. Two, when two. you put your helmet on and put them shoulder pads on, them different types of speed. They bro. actually call him um, uh, Tyreek. Taekwon Tari Thor. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. That man was the fastest. We got the. We got the. We had the. We drafted the fastest running. Dom, back. is this true? I don't know. You can look it up. If that's his truth. That's his truth. Well, ain't got to be my truth. Look it up. <laughs> Bro, did you see about Zion <laughs> Williamson? Zion you be watching Zion. basketball? Who, Zion. Yeah. And <sighs> he, I ain't he, got nothing bad to say about nobody, but like you can just look at certain people and just be like, bro. I ain't gonna lie. There's no disrespect, but if my definition of a bus is correct, I all the hype around him is. Would you not say it's gone? Yeah. Wait, no. Did you hear about the part, him and the girl? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. Like apart all, all of that, him being in the league, being injured for that long, uh-huh. all that hype that came around him, and now she threatening the, the leak the whole drop, tape. Drop a sex tape. Ain't nobody ever tried you like that. To drop a sex tape? Yeah. Oh, man. 
yeah, yeah, I ain't make no sex time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah, he bro. gonna get some. I don't want that. <laughs> nah, bro, nah, I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't deal man, with Man, what you like doing, that. girl? Put that camera down. <laughs> nah, I don't deal with women like that. But you gotta be real, like, like, dumb. What what you think? Like, what you think if it do leak, like the Pelican should just trade him, like to get rid of all that type of stuff? Probably. I mean, I just feel like it's just gonna be too much drama and negativity around the team. They trying to win. They don't really be, you know what I'm saying, with all that. They a small market anyway, so it's like that's only finna hurt them for real. Bro, I'm just saying, if she got a sex tape like that, imagine who else got one ready to drop, too. All they need is an example. Man, they going to put it on Tubi. That shit just going to tumble. <laughs> it going gonna to be put on Tubi straight off the top. Like. I don't know, man. I, why, why, you think, why you think it's going to mess with the league, though? You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's going to mess with the like league. It. I think it's just going to mess with the team. The league sweeps shit under the rug like that all the time. The uh, league, they good with, you know what I'm saying, doing damage control, but... I feel like when it's somebody like Zion, who they already talk about him all the time because he don't play. Mm. They already got something to say. They talk about he ain't oh, a good yeah. teammate and all that. So it's just like that ain't that ain't good that ain't good press for him. I don't think. Yeah, that's, one, that's some of the problems with these athletes too, though. Like they be they be like they be good at what they do, but it's almost like they ain't got no like. I'm not gonna say I don't want to disrespect their parents or whatever because I don't know what they teach them, <laughs> but they ain't got no like, bro. These folk be. These kid be lame. So <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to like disrespect nobody, but like when you pre- when you prepare somebody for that kind of fame and that level, and you coming out of high school like but that, they, they, be they green, parents though, they like green. yeah, they, they parents they and they got green. money. You, you they parents ain't even had this kind of money to to train them for, right? That it, it, yeah. Bro, how can you tell your child, hey, when you get the 200 mil, act like you got some sense? Nigga, have you ever got 200 mil? Right. Facts. That why, that's why I said it's like it's, it's a lot that come with it as far as like the home training, man. Yeah. You got to prepare your Because then you should be able to, of, your parents should be able to tell you yeah, something. Yeah, like, no, hey, like, man, when you just know it's finna be this. And even he, wasn't he in the media for one Snapchat story already? Some Probably um, so. Yeah, it was, I think it was a white girl. Yeah. Oh, they yeah, back in that. college, I think. Yeah. What he, happened with that? Y'all remember? I don't remember, but back it was, in college. Uh, it was basically they caught him yeah. not doing anything, but it was like, oh, but this, oh, he in trouble because how he simping over this chick in the in the messages. They had him on Snapchat, like, complimenting a white girl, and he was, like, kind of acting lame. With like, he was, acting, he was acting like... I was going to say that, like, this this Jim Crow law. Like, <laughs> wait, he can't holler at a white girl? Nah, it's not. You know how. You know oh, how. He was you know how media, the media, black, especially yeah. black folks, like... When you see it, you like, oh no! Nah, was the white girl pretty though? It wasn't about the girl. It was about how he responded. Yeah, it he was, was his game. Cor- he was corny. It was like, oh, yeah. really? I, like he ain't never had no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I really don't like speaking on people that I don't know like that. Yeah. But when you see it, it's like this is not surprising that you're <laughs> texting this. If those text messages are real, bro, you you've been like this, which is right. cool. But you know. He ain't got no veteran leadership. Like CJ Sex. tried to look out for him. Like when CJ got traded there, like. CJ wanted to link up with him. He's like, I'm straight. Like, it, that never happened. You know what I'm saying? It's a very young team. In this particular situation, I feel like he really messed up when he's broadcasting the girl that he got pregnant. If he didn't shoot that commercial with her and, like, put it all out on Twitter. Commercial? I feel like, yeah, it's like, you ain't see him, like, with the baby mother, and they like, yeah, I'm going to be a photo. Now nah, it's a video of him, like, talking yeah, with it's her. Yeah, a, it's a, I, ain't, I ain't really watch it, but I seen it. Now, there's a video of him and the baby mom, and they talking about how they're going to be there for the child. And then Mariah Mills saw that, and then she just, here right. we at. Yeah. She, she felt tricked. My thing with all this, they doing, all these teams got all this going on. And the boy Jokic, you don't hear him do nothing. <laughs> he just want a ring, he's still out the way. He don't get into all that. You think he ain't got sex tape? He got plenty. <laughs> he know how to handle his business. When you winning, they don't want to leak nothing. Yeah. Yeah, they man, they talking about training you. You need you need to do something quick. You're like, I ain't tripping. I know what I'll do. Now she leaking this sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so dumb, man. Bro, now it like that ad the trash talking you out there on the court, somebody bring up your sex tape. But your sex tape falling off, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't even got nothing to do with the game. Hey, well, now that makes more sense with what you said. Like it's gonna, it's gonna affect <laughs> yeah. the team. Like he may feel some kind of way, but I don't. 
That's tough, bro. What's up, quick pumper? And just <laughs> drive back. <laughs> like, they don't have so many nicknames for him. Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, that's too <laughs> Hey, man, you, you a basketball fan? Uh, not really. I don't really care for basketball. Like, oh, that. yeah. Like I said, I watch. I watch the Warriors. I watch Curry a lot. Dot Ned and Thad. They was in here bragging. You remember your blind basketball? Uh, mm-hmm, skit. Blind basketball skit. Yeah, Dot Ned. I'm telling him it's a skit, but he was bragging how he dunked on you. That was that was you. <laughs> it was scripted. You ain't just dunk on me, bro. You like, know what I was trying to explain to him, bro. Yeah, that was that was crazy. That, you're right. That's crazy. What's happening, man? You put put me in the yeah, I, IMDb because of you, man. I appreciate man, I you, man. Him. I appreciate you, dog. Yeah, it was a real dunk, though. Now it was a real ten foot goal. It was my real old ass legs. I got up there. Hey. Yeah, he nah, he, he got up there, man. Yeah. That's that's funny because that's actually one of the uh, the first sketches that got um got picked up and, like, transferred to, like, I guess, a bigger... Basically, Kevin Hart in our, right. our production. Mm-hmm. He saw... Him and his team saw that vision first. So it was living on... The original sketch that we shot was living on the internet for probably, like, a year or some change. And they reached out. And they wanted to work. And they was like, hey, uh, is there any series, you know, that you're thinking of? And I really believed in that sketch. And I told him a couple of them. They was like, yeah, that's pretty funny, but is there anything? I was like, yo, uh, blind basketball, man. I want to do like a a series <laughs> of like two coaches trying to, you know, get some blind kids to play basketball. And they was like, yo, that's hilarious. Let's shoot it. <laughs> Bro, it sounds crazy just to hear, but like there is so much humor in that, though. Like, whole bunch. Man. I hate nobody ever see it and get offended, though. You said what now? I hope nobody ever see it and get offended. Oh yeah, like now, you know how blind people, days. yeah, yeah, blind yeah, people yeah. see now, it. Now, all it's gonna take for me to get more popping than I am. Yeah, and then once they want to bring up something, they gonna go grab. Because once them blind people see that, they gonna well, they gonna be you gonna get counseled. Then they, they ain't even catch it. <laughs> <laughs> they not gonna see it. <laughs> that, hey, Thad was in there too. Yeah, I was in the original one. Really? Yeah. Let me put that put everybody on, bro. <laughs> That's what I know. I appreciate that, E man. You the goat for that, bro. That's what's up, bro, man. man I ain't even know. Man. Hey, man, these boy, these boy, boy wanted to pay homage. These boy were crying when hey, they found out you were coming. I and like, he, he was the first one that believed in me. I said, bro, he don't even remember you was in that. <laughs> <laughs> was you? Was you? Uh, you was part of the Devils, right? Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah the on. white team. I did the jump yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. Wow, man. That's crazy. I didn't expect that. At least y'all know I've been genuine from the start so far. We got a long way to go too, man. Oh man, this the white girl on Snapchat. He just showed. <laughs> That's not really lame though. <laughs> swipe, swipe right. And I have a big room because I I don't have a girlfriend. But if I moved you to New Orleans, would you be cool with be like my official? Just asking so I know how to go about the situation with respect. Nah, that ain't. Bro, that's the thing. See. He professional. <laughs> he's, showing, he's showing me he business savvy. And y'all want to talk about the man. I don't, I ain't talk, I don't talk about him. Like I said, for one. Not like, you. I'm talking about the media, bro. Yeah, the media. That's how, that's how black people live, bro. Like, oh, he corn. I want to say everybody out there got a text message that they done sent to a chick that might not be the coolest in your eyes. And you just being like trying to be respectful. But you know, you come mm-hmm. off as corny. But then when you see what he doing, it's just like, uh yeah, he. I think, bro, it it's so iffy as a man, as an athlete in the stature. It's a lot of these players wait, that's wait, out wait, here. You say as an athlete, you mean you? Because are you just saying? Oh, I played too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you played too much. <laughs> yeah. You boy, you, you tripping, what? boy? You play what? What sports you play? Boy, football. They still talking about me at the middle school, man. If I go by that middle school now, that coach be like, boy. What position? Huh? <laughs> what position? Full back in nose guard. You ain't play no full back. You capped out. Man. <laughs> I can see nose guard, though. Man, I come through. Boom. Hit that linebacker. We hey. keep pushing. <laughs> you in played, middle school. You played any sports, bro? Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> Honestly, bro, I, uh, I couldn't simply because my mom, for one, she was super afraid of like how hard they were hitting out there, and two, we kept moving. I've been to four different high schools, bro. So it's like anytime I tried out, if I did was trying out for the team, 
by the time they started picking people, we ready to move to the next school. So it was like, I got to my final year at Fed County, and I had a choice to choose between football, going trying out for the football team, uh, or the drama team, and I had to make a decision. The reason why I got switched over to Fed County was because of acting. Like the teacher at Money's Mill, she believed in me so much. She tried to get me to transfer. My mom believed her, so they took me out of Money's Mill. And then they man, me shout out to that teacher real yeah, quick. Hey, like, yeah, I was lucky, yeah. man. Miss lucky. <laughs> Bro, but you know, you know how bad you gotta be at sports for a teacher be like, <laughs> <laughs> man, they ain't, they ain't, bro. That bro, that's ain't what I reason. got from that, bro. That's nah, crazy. that ain't, that ain't the reason why. Like, I just didn't, I didn't think to try out for sports, like, because we was moving so much. But you know what? I think with that being said, a lot of people don't realize. I feel like you know, cause a time like you know around that time frame, like how we was coming up, people felt like sports. That's it. If you do sports, that's it. But if people would have pushed performing arts, that type of stuff, yeah. it'll be a whole different spectrum. Because look how many people you didn't think had any kind of personality, and all they do is post videos all day. Like, they try to show that side of them. You know what I'm saying? But it never was. You felt like you had to be and make it in being, sports. Just being smart in that situation, it, it was, it was kind of like a tough situation for me because cause I went to school. I was raised in, basically raised in Clayton County. So I went to Lovejoy and then whatever. So Monday's meal, I went there for like two years. And when she seen, when I tried out for acting there, she saw something to me and was like, oh, nah. She, Cause she got, she got, um, she got her, uh, they wanted her to go to like a predominantly white school. So it was like, man, the pay was better. So when she left that school, that's when I was like, I really was like, you know what? I'm gonna take drama classes. But my senior year, she left to the uh, Macintosh which was a predominantly white school in Fed County. And she was talking to my mom without me knowing, like, hey, I think your, your, your son got, like, I want him to study under me. He needs to come over here. So out of nowhere, my senior year, probably like the third day, I'm in class, I get withdrawn out of school, and then I was like, what's going on? She was like, the teacher said you good. I'm just gonna believe in her. Like, come on. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, bro, you finna take me for my friend, my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I ain't trying to hear. My mom was a school teacher too, so she's right. like, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that. So we go to uh, we go to McIntosh, and right around the time, that's when Clayton County schools were losing their uh, accreditation. Mm -hmm. So, so that was I, right on I, time. Right. So when I walked when I walked into school, the lady kind of looked at me at the front desk. She kind of looked at me, and a lot of people was transferred. So they looked at me like, you just coming over here because y'all. You gonna you gonna need special permission to come over here because y'all live outside the uh, the district. So she was like, "Well, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to put you in Fayette County for it, but you'll only be in there for a week, and then you when you get special permission, then you can come over there." So then my mom had to enroll me in Fayette County, and I was only supposed to be there for a week. But when they found out, when they told me I, I was denied, I couldn't get in the Macintosh. I was like, "Well, mom, can I go back to my girl? Can I go back to my friends?" And she was like, "Nah, that's too much paperwork. You just gonna stay here." So I'm looking at her like, bro, like you just gonna, I don't yeah. know nobody at this school in my senior year. And when I, again, because I did love acting, it was, that was right around the time they was having tryouts for football. But then I had to think, I'm like, these folks I already got their starters. I ain't really They've been playing training. since yeah, ninth like, grade. I ain't finna try. Like, I want to, but let me go ahead and do this drama over here. And then the rest was history, so... Like yeah. you said, thank God for the teacher. Right. My mama almost hated though. That crazy. Man, <laughs> you probably like could have been a little straight little running back though. Yeah, bro. A strong safety. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you, think he, he, you hitting folks like that? Nah. Look, bro, you know you gotta give like when you play neighborhood football and like all you do is pick stuff off, like you hit hard. They they said it about me, like in my neighborhood, you hit and we were playing with no pads too. Bro. He got the dreads. He already got, got the, the profile. Dread. He got, got the profile. The, got the zookie. Like, that's what I do, bro. That's what I do, bro. He man, don't trick man. you into believing that, bro. Like, <laughs> man, I just know you were no fool back. Man, you crazy. Oh, man, you were fool. <laughs> <laughs> you were no fool back. <laughs> e, now, all those aside, when you first met me, I was probably 120 pounds ago. I can't, re I don't never remember you being. Man, shut the hell up. <laughs> right, sorry, well, how, how many pounds are you now? About 235, 230. No, I ain't never seen you at your skinny face. You, you was never 120. 
No, no, I probably <laughs> I put it some cap on the. Uh, <laughs> nah, I, I probably like one sixty, one sixty five. To be honest with you, you're slimmer now. Bro, I'm finna edit all that because you lying, bro. <laughs> and from what I can remember, bro, you a little slimmer now. <laughs> Are you a little slimmer now? That's what you get, bro, going on your vegan diet, bro. That man bro. be boxing, man. Oh, yeah, we went boxing the other day. You watch boxing? Yeah, a little bit. But so, I, I, actually, I actually trained a little bit, but no, no. When you say train a little bit, what happened? Like I wanted yeah. to take up boxing. Me and my little brother, we would go to the gym uh-huh. and just even, nigga, just even... I can say nigga. Right? Yeah. <laughs> nigga, just even um just like jump roping. Like having to jump rope that long that for three like, bro, oh, yeah. real, bro. Bro. bro, this when I knew box on series. So you know when you get in the ring and stuff, we haven't even threw a punch. He just got us skipping around the ring and just ducking when he swing. <laughs> man, we did that by six times. Hey man, what the hell? <laughs> when the hell we gonna fight? <laughs> but I was tired from that though. Mm. But they they wear you out so much when it's time to throw a punch, you ain't got no it's strength. Fighting, fighting ain't, it's only a little bit of it, bro. Yeah, that shit, mental, that bro. It's that, mental. That mental, that toughness, that shit. It's all of that. So you know, so you don't even. Do you keep up with like play? I mean, a boxer like Crawford and Spence. You talking about? Uh, you don't even want to know what I thought you meant by that, unless you joking. What? <laughs> but it's over with. What? Cause I thought I seen people talk about it online, but bro, I thought they were talking about uh, all American. Crawford and Spence. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, Spencer shit. used to buy that about it, but then Spencer James, Crawford, like whatever school or somebody like. I was like, I thought they were South Crenshaw, South Crenshaw, like that. Nigga, nah, nah, nigga nah, thought I, she was I, talking I, about Da Vinci. Bruh. Yeah, right. <laughs> The fact, the fact that I know you ain't playing, that would make this is so much funnier, bro. I know why I would have blood. Are you talking about all American? No, bro. Crawford and Smith. So, did you used to watch Floyd fight? Do you like Tank? Bro, I don't watch boxing like that. Yeah, I don't really watch. I mean, I, I've, I've seen uh, Tank fight a couple of times, but like to old oh, boxing on. I'll probably just watch if there's nothing to do where we go to the fight party. Go to, to a fight. Okay. No, nah, okay. I ain't keeping up with that. I did watch the, obviously, I did watch the uh, Garcia and Tank fight. And I ain't going to lie, bro. I, I didn't know what to expect. I knew uh, Garcia was like pretty quick. But that boy Tank, bro, I just don't, I, he's unstoppable, bro. Like, bro. I don't get it. Bro, I ain't going to lie. When that fight first was going on, you remember because we were talking about, I said I like Tank in, in seven round, But, at first, Garcia, I was like, bro, he ain't scared of him. But after Tank, bop, he started fighting different. I said, oh, yeah, that yeah. was. Yeah. They just hyped that shit up. Bro. Yeah. They knew good and well Garcia wasn't going to keep up with Tank. Man. But it be seeming good at first in the beginning of the fight to Tank figure you out. Once he, he made patient. that adjustment. If you're not yeah. patient, Garcia ain't patient. He wasn't patient. When, when I, when they, the first couple of rounds, I'm like, oh, no, bro. I was like, Tank, bro. It might be a little tough because Garcia was like, he was patient too. But he even admitted it too. Garcia ended up admitting it in one of the interviews. He was like, man, it got boring. So I tried to get the people what they want. And he that's why he said he started. Yeah, he like, gave the people what they wanted. Yeah, that's we awesome. wanted you to get knocked out. You definitely gave the people what they wanted, Garcia. <laughs> Bro, who's some of your favorite athletes that you done met or that you would want to meet? LeGarrett Blunt. That's like my dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Y'all be playing Madden and all together. Who yeah, played with yeah. the Patriots? Oregon legend. Oregon legend. Yeah. Man, he's legend. a legend. Yeah, for sure. That's my, like, that's my he dog. Super Bowl legend. winner. <laughs> yeah. That's my dog for sure. Like, I've been to the I've been to the crib uh, up in New England. He got me my first uh, um, couple of tickets to the games. Okay. Been up to the crib with chilling with the fam and stuff. We talk trash and Madden all the time. Yeah, like, I don't see y'all play. He, like, he hit me like, bro, you ain't been up. Because I think he, I don't know if he want nobody to know that. I think he in AZ. I think he in AZ now. I think he stay AZ. So I'm supposed to be going out there to see him soon. Um, Cam Newton. Okay. My first, Legend. My first time meeting um, Cam. We met through a mutual friend, and you know he, you know, word around the street that I was a Madden God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you know, and he heard. So you know, through a mutual friend, he reached out, and then I ended up going over to his crib, and then his trash talking is elite. Like it, for real, it, it is elite, bro. Like, give give us a story, like what something he might say. Uh, Cause he really good at football in real life. So is he straight on man too? 
the last, I ain't gonna lie, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't gonna cap. The last game he, we just played, we played when Madden twenty three first came out, not first came out, but a couple of months ago, mm-hmm. and he know that the game was. Like this ain't me making no excuse, but everybody know the blitz in the first beginning. Like the O line was trash; they had to fix all that. Right, that's all he kept doing. So the type of trash talk he was, I'm like, bro, you know what you you know you, we played for like a little five hundred, and he did what he did. But the first the first time I went over there, like I'm in his crib, and he ain't even picked the Panthers. So I'm talking trash to him, like well, I'm whooping him. And he like, you know, I win or whatever. And I'm like, bro, that's your problem. You don't even believe in yourself. You ain't mm. playing with your whole yeah, team. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. And he talk, but the type, the type of trash talk he he just be on, like, oh, I can't. He, he talks so much trash. And he, he's and so, so who did he play with if he ain't play with him? I think he played. Uh, I, for, I forgot. It was, I think it was either the either Green Bay or. Um, he played. He played with some team, but this was years ago. This yeah, yeah. Years. But I'm saying this when he was with the Panthers, though. Yeah, he yeah. He probably didn't trust the other players around. I think <laughs> I don't know if it was his partner or him, but you know how when you hang with your partner, y'all all talk trash the same. Like he would act like he's the head coach. Like when he get like when he gets a uh, a play done on me, and he'd be like, "You're good." You know, or when he miss a play, yeah. Or I intercepted him, be like, "You're good. You're good. Don't worry about that." Next time, okay, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> And, but he a ma- he a macho trash talking. That's 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 one reason why I knew like we was gonna be cool because the way he was able to trash talk and the way I trash talk, people be wanting to fight once I trash uh-huh. talk. But he he on that same. One thing I will way. say about E, win or lose, he gonna talk trash yeah, to the end. Got to because if I lost, yeah. it was because of something I ain't do that I know I could have did. Be like, boy, you sorry, boy. <laughs> yeah, you go get a courtesy. I might get about a courtesy win. I got him a. I don't remember him ever beating me. But I got about did, two or three courtesy wins on that boy. You so cow. <laughs> the time at your crib when I came, you like, bro. Because look, this is what E-Man do. Now, I'm, am I lying? Yeah. He's a cocky <laughs> He's a cocky Madden player. So he'll give you a chance. Like, he'll just be throwing the ball around at oh, the yeah. end. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, so <laughs> you tried me. He tried me. <laughs> And I did what a a, a a a great a goat a legend supposed to do. I make you pay for mistakes, bro. <laughs> hey, let's be real, cause I I'll give him that. I'll give him that. But if you got a nigga down thirty five to six, who you did that to? You. <laughs> well, I don't know what you talking about, bro. If I'm like, if we continue to play. I'm not gonna play the same. It's like, bro. But when he started coming back, it's like, hold on now. Like, and then he was like just throwing a little deep. Whatever he was doing, I could have ended the game if I would have just played serious the whole time. But it's like playing him is like playing your little brother. Oh you know, wow, man, wow. Playing in the first place, bro. It's like, all right, man, come wow. on, man. You got to keep in line, bro. Come on, bro. That's the same thing they said to Michael Jordan before he won his six rings. I just, I don't <laughs> get caught up in that type of talk, dog. So, we gotta see I this live. Bro. We ain't gotta see nothing live. He don't play Madden like that. Don't <laughs> yeah, I stop. Nothing. I don't stop. As I did that, I was like, bro, I can't do this. Cause I saw him so mad, he throwing his controller, <laughs> going outside, drinking his uh, WC. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> damn, WC. That's cap, man. That's cap. Bro. So who? E. All right, you talked about Cam and Blunt. Who? 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 Somebody you would want it? Like what athlete you would want to be around? Or just me? You know, get some sign like. No, I don't do all that. <laughs> yeah. So there's no athlete you want to meet. I do want to meet Curry. I guess I do want to meet Curry. Yeah, Curry. You know what I'm saying? You ever um, had some Under Armour shoes? Nah, nah. bro. I know you be up fresh on the on the shoes and stuff. <laughs> 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 get Curry to sign some of your Under Armour nah, shoes. That's your favorite player. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not too much of a fan of. Anybody to where it's like, oh man, this would be good if I had. A, I don't really praise people like that. You know what I'm saying? To, but Curry is the first person I know for a fact that I, I've even said like, I want to meet him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so now you said it, huh? <laughs> you like, I want to meet him. Yeah, like I mean, yeah, it's. It, I'm it, sure it, he not, but you'll be surprised, man. Ain't no telling, like you know, with that. That era, he probably don't reposted your video, to sent sent your video to people and all that type yeah. of stuff. Uh, I mean, probably could, you know. Ricky, she she manages their uh, yeah. him him and his wife's uh, show, 
They, they had a cooking show or somewhere. It was a lot of uh, whatever show it was. They had a late night it. show too. Late night. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. She okay. produced it, so I I told her, I was like, man, if I'm ever in California, like I want to meet. She's like, oh yeah, I, I can make that happen. Like we all did So I'm looking forward. You know, if God will, I'm looking forward to meeting them. What the I first thing no you'll say? Like what you like? I'm, you know what I'm saying I don't, I don't, nah, you don't even know how you gonna act. Huh? Bro, I would hate to see video and you crying. <laughs> you crying. <laughs> nah, to be honest with you, I mean, this ain't no disrespect, but I don't even know why I want to meet him. And it's like I got, hey, man, how did, because I don't care. It's just the man's so good at what he do. Yeah. It's just like a, sim- like, a simple dapper dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A simple dapper dude. Yeah. <laughs> when well, y'all going to see viral video, <laughs> E-Man just wiping his eyes. <laughs> nah, if I could, though. I would get the, uh, I mean, all of it is made by Roku, but I think the, the their throwback jersey, it goes with the, it's, it's this color wave. And I would get the third, uh, the uh, the Curry jersey. And I wouldn't mind him signing that just to, you know. See, I started unchanged yeah. already. Just when I, when I brought it, when I brought that to your attention, oh, I don't do all that. I don't want nobody signing that. Well, now, now yeah. I'm getting signed and all that. I mean, it'll be fine to have a. A Clay Thompson in the um, Curry jersey for sure. I would. I, I want a Clay Thompson jersey more though. Why you ain't no LeBron fan? Why? I mean, <laughs> I'm not. I don't know. He don't, he don't watch know. basketball that like that. I, I, he I, watch I, I, it enough. I feel like you know what I'm saying. I ain't got nothing against him or anything. But I'm just a. I'm just a Curry fan. You know what I'm saying. LeBron. I feel like all his accomplishments is obviously he. You know he's one of the goats in the league. But I feel like the stuff that Curry does at the size that he does it, LeBron, you supposed to be look look at you, dog. You what two what two fifty whatever you is like you bullying through the pain. You doing all that you breaking records, but Curry doing the same thing at like whatever me how many pounds he is. So it's like I'm more of a a Curry fan than I am. You see LeBron, why people man. don't like LeBron? Just cut a man. I never see that. I see. I never said I didn't like LeBron. As a matter of fact. Shout out to LeBron and his um and his uh his uh I'm sorry if I, for, I forgot it. What is it? What is it? His Brandy. company. Oh. Um, his company. His uh his uninterrupted. Uh, his uninterrupted. You talking and about his production company? His production company. Spring, oh, Spring Hill. Spring Hill. Yeah. Shout out to Spring Hill and uninterrupted because um they gave me an opportunity to be a part of the. Uh, they picked me to be in the Nike show, shot by Spring Hill and Oh, that shot by them? Yeah. Man, that's clap company, it up for man. that, man. Yeah. And Kyrie ain't put you on that. Yeah, and he had and um their their company had me come out and host the um uh the new uh house party uh-huh. that was shot by Spring Hill and uninterrupted un- un- uninterrupted. So when I went out there and I was hosting the red carpet, I was representing Spring Hill. So much love to LeBron always. Oh, for sure. I, I never disrespect. So he him, rocking you know with you then. I don't know if he's doing that personally, but that's his company and his <laughs> oh. best friend. They they I, I guess they know who Yeah, I am. man, you think that don't get he gotta look at it before he sign it. Yeah. Hey man, well hey, again, man, appreciate you, dog. For real, for yeah. real. I don't know if he see this or so you, you can stop doing that to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> just in case, bro. Just, nah, LeBron see. might see this. He be rocking with the show, but he don't be really want people to know. Why you say that? Cause then he like, you know how people be, bro. Marcel, you don't you wanna understand it's like a reporter game. It's like a what? It's a reporter game. When in the system that I'm in, like as a reporter, like it's a competition. Like every athlete had a reporter that they supposed to break their news to. So oh. him and Brian Warhorse, they real cool. But he rocking with the show, but he like, he can't let it be known like that. No, I don't think that's it. <laughs> that can't be it. It sounded good, didn't it? It can't be it. Because if he if he saw this, he he definitely appreciate it. Nah, we we big Bron fans over here, man. For oh, sure. All right. Y'all big Bron fan. Like we yeah, for I'm more the of a Curry than LeBron. It, Curry. It, it, it's yeah, split, it's 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 split in this room, but majority we we rocking with Bron over here. That, but see that that's one of the things I want to address, like even just with sports, period. What? Black people, we gotta stop tearing people that we don't know apart. Curry and LeBron, they don't care about who's better. Like that be us. No, nah, LeBron is. And then like, you know, what if LeBron heard something that we we said and it's like, well, well, Curry ain't really do this. And then the Curry was like, well, hold on, LeBron. Like, don't don't forget that I did give you buckets on this. Man, you ain't did now they beefing, cause we beefing. 
And we don't even know them folk like that. Bro, that been the history of sports, period. <laughs> yeah, I think them niggas care, bro. Ignorant. Huh? They care. I think, I think they care. Yeah, because sure. you got to think about, you remember with LeBron and Kobe, that's when they started coming out with the commercials. Like with having the puppets. Them, you know, with the puppets having them saying little trash talk to each bro, other. That's, bro, we that's got what sports it. built off of, though. It's marketing. Yeah, man, e? I ain't trying to hear none of that. Don't folks don't folk really be getting upset. Bro. I know this is kind of off topic, but the Biggie and, uh, Biggie and Tupac situation. When I watched the movie and I seen them interviewing people from the West Coast and from the East Coast, mm. don't folk were really out there talking as if they knew what happened. They were like, nah, man, Pop, <laughs> go, I, he did it, so he got what he deserved. And I'm just looking at it like, bro, look how y'all, tar- don't folk don't even know y'all. Y'all wasn't at the story, but because they from where y'all from, yeah. Y'all feel like now y'all beefing with people from the East Coast that don't need y'all don't even know each other. Bro, E man, you know why I'm glad you brought it up. Half them people that was beefing never been to California. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like people just like, man, F LA. Like, have you ever been? LA well, like, a beautiful you might place. Like it here. Yeah. yeah, LA a beautiful place. But if you take that same concept and that same mindset, and I know it's all for like, you know, friendly or whatever, but Sometimes it does get to the players, and they be like, you know, uh, the fame do some certain stuff to certain people. Fact. What's the best game you ever been to, football or basketball? Oh, uh, honestly, I would probably have to say the uh, the Warriors versus Celtics game. When was this? Uh, this is right. I think this right, championship. I don't think it was a chat. I think oh. it was like right before. I think it was like towards the. Uh, I kept trying to tell. It might uh, be Christmas then. Who was on the team? It was Kyrie. When Kyrie was on the team? With the Celtics? No, 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 no. Oh, this is recent. That, this oh, is recent. recent. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. This might be uh, Christmas because I think they, they, they played yeah, last Christmas. Yeah, just Christmas they played, yeah. Uh, no, nah, you probably wouldn't have been there on Christmas. No, not, not. It wasn't. It's, it was. I think it was. Uh, it might have been a regular season game. Yeah, okay. But it was. That, that was dope to see, like. I keep. I think. I think it was right before. Did they play the Celtics in the playoffs? Right. They it would have to be the finals. championship. Nah. It had to be the finals. Of last year's finals. Last they year's in finals. The East and the West. They went see each Like with the the seventh, the fourth game. Yeah, seventh game. I keep trying to tell. I think it was the playoff game. I think it was finals. in Cel- Yeah, at <laughs> and what Boston? Game, yeah. It was in Boston. Okay. It was in Boston, and it, it like the, the like the way they. The way the Warriors came back in one of those games, like to just be there. Yeah, to yeah be. that was final. Because they only finals. go there once a year. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was final. To just be there, though, it was like, bro, this is like, this is fire, bro. It's Fair. cold. And then, you know, me, I, I talk trash a lot. I, my dream is to go to an NBA game with the controller in my hand. <laughs> what? In school, and uh, I went to I went to I attended Albany State, right? And yeah. I, how I used to trash talk, I would go to the football games. And I would sit in the, the crowd with a controller, and I would act like I'm, you know, I'm the one playing. So w- whenever we score, I'm up talking trash like, yeah, like I got the controller in my hand. And people were like, that became a thing at, uh, for me at Albany State. So I'm like, man, I know they be checking backpacks, but if I could ever get on the sideline and I pull out a controller at a Warriors game, bro, you gonna get your ass locked up <laughs> and threw on. Bro, you try to bring a controller in the arena, they gonna think it's a bomb or weapon. <laughs> Get your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's true. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just doing, I'm going to make a joke. I'm making. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing the hey. game. Yeah, bro. Anything with buttons is over with. Yeah, Word, they ain't let man. that in, yeah. bro. You might that's detonate crazy. a bomb in there. You know, I'm dumb like that sometimes. <laughs> I be thinking like, bro, that ain't no Man, you know you probably got some good tickets, but you would be mad as hell standing there with that control. Oh, yeah. The most they'll probably do is just keep it. Yeah, yeah. man. Nah, I, 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 that's what I used to do in high school, like, no lie, I didn't know you can get a, a, a um a scholarship for heckling. Oh, I didn't know that neither. Me either. Nah, this, they, this is new. Yeah, they you you can't can you? No, bro. Well, well, well. <laughs> well they, <laughs> no, like, I, bro. I look. I'm not. Bro, I, I have people like if you if if you went to if, if there's people out there that went to Albany State, bro, they can vouch for me, bro. Like. I kid you not. I would go to the sports game even. The but baseball. you can't get a scholarship for I'm it. Not, I'm not saying that. Oh. I'm, I'm telling you what the coach was telling the players. Like, man, well, he should look into it. This is real, like, <laughs> bro, because the way I would be at these, like, give us, give for, us a story before bro, we get out of here. Specifically for baseball, uh-huh. I was at Albany State, and I would go to the baseball game, and I would sit like behind, obviously behind the uh, the pitch, uh, whatever the batters, whatever. 
and I'm talking so much trash to the opposing team to the point where people are I, people are coming to the games to see me talk trash. And I go up to like I'm talking so much trash to when he went to Payne College, or well, whoever he was. I was talking trash. I'm all on the gate while he at the like he at that. I'm talking so he, he's striking. People laughing. That man literally walks back to the gate to me and go, "Hey, bro." I will kill you, nigga. <laughs> and walk right back up to it. And I, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do it after you strike out, fool. And I'm like, just going back, doing whatever I do. But that was the first time I really was like, and you realize like, I'm good. Like, I like, like, I'm, yeah, but at the same time, I do want to kind of calm down because if, yeah. if you can. Yeah, these are athletes. This, all at Payne College though, they wasn't no like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they were not they first school. Yeah. So they they frustrated about something. Yeah. But if I can talk trash like that, it became a thing where like is is E Man coming to the games? The coaches like, is you are you coming to the games? And I did it at the basketball games. I did it at Fort Valley. What you do at the basketball games? I I'm talk like on the sideline, just talking as much trash as I can. Like, don't let me find out any anything personal. Oh, on, on the campus is over with, <laughs> and you know they. If you miss a field goal, butterfingers, I'm all like, I'm just doing whatever I got to do to help my school out. You know what I'm saying? And but did your school? Did y'all win? Yeah, at the game. Oh. I, but you know me, I'm a top trash whether we win or lose or not. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, they. I mean, it was respect all at the end of the day. But that was the first athlete that came to me in in the middle of a game. What you think that nigga doing now? Probably locked up. <laughs> <laughs> If you can come to an uh, 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 innocent bystander and say, bro, hey, I will kill you, nigga, and walk right back to strike out. <laughs> but, oh, I'm thinking this after his back. No, he bro. He stopped up with some strike, too. Man, he walked up to the back, bro. Like, I'm talking trash the whole game. He walking to the back and he strikes. And I'm talking trash, but I'm right there at the gate. It ain't like I'm sitting in the stand. I'm right there in his ear. And he walks back like, you know how they the battle like they dust off, get they. Oh, they act like they doing something. He walked back to the gate and said, "Hey, bro, I will kill you, nigga," and walked right back up there to proceed to strike out. Yeah, he meant that. Leave that man. As a matter of speaking of strike out, he probably got strike three. He in jail. <laughs> he was striking out in life, man. I left that man alone, bro. Man, I appreciate you pushing up all the emails. Man, I appreciate y'all, man. For nah, real, we needed real. them stories, bro. Hey, Marcel, when we get out of here, man, make sure you look up to see if anybody could get a scholarship for him. <laughs> Cause he all your side, bro. You can't. That wouldn't make sense, bro. You think? What would I, they study? <laughs> you think, bro? This literature, is, bro. The point <laughs> of that me saying that I, you I was that good. Psychology. I can't. Yeah, I, I, these psychology. Are what it could you, be, yeah, this is what people were saying to me. So I, I ain't saying you can, but. It's worth trying. Like, if I'm that good, then somebody say, bro, you need to see if you can get a scholarship for heckling, bro. I got a gift, bro. I talk trash for a living, bro. Fact. Man, anything you got covered up, eBay, you want the people to know about, man? Uh, Yeah, man. Got some uh, some music dropping, man. Some uh, I know y'all think it's joking, but I don't care what y'all think, bro. I'm going to drop what I drop. I got uh, a bunch of tracks coming out, me and Phil. I'm working on something very special, man. I got blessed with the opportunity to... Uh, I don't know if I want to give him that, right? Because I don't. You know, oh yeah, don't give him that. Make sure that. everything goes. Through. Oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah, don't you jinx that. Make put it this way. Keep watching your TVs. Keep watching your TVs. For sure, man. Clap that up. Good things coming, man. Good things coming. Just know when you see it. Just know when you see it. Starring in, directed, and wrote it. Yeah. Oh um, man. If God willing, man. It sound like some Tyler Perry stuff going on, soon, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, you look up to Tyler Perry? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really look up to nobody if it ain't Christ. You know what I'm saying? It's popping. That real talk, man. So for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate y'all, man. I couldn't hey, find man. a scholarship. Huh? I couldn't find a scholarship. Hey, hey man, you're not gonna go, find <laughs> Let it go. All right. This has been another wonderful episode of Broken Play. Appreciate E-Man Hudson, man, pushing up on us, man. Anything you got to say, though? Man, that's a wrap on season one, by the way. You know oh, what I'm for saying? sure, man. That's the season for now. Oh, man. Yeah. Ten up? episodes, man. Congrats. Man, yeah, hey, man, give it up for now, man. Yeah. Hey, season for now, bro. Hey. What's up, bro? E-Man, the first, we was supposed to have six. Then we got extended to ten. And them folks already done picked up for season two, man. 
Cool. Shout out to Prize Picks, man. You want yeah, to be on Prize, Prize Picks? Picks. Uh, I do now. I know now. Yeah, get on Prize Picks. It's I easy. I was wondering what that was. I oh, like yeah, that's the sponsor, man. There, that's, that's the sponsor. Up, bro, man. Yeah, yeah. we we'll get you Pick, take a man. picture by that. It might get Prize picked up for season three. Prize Picks. You, you got a real talented host, bro. You got a real talented host. So hopefully y'all get to season 50. I'm telling you, man. This No, I don't know about that for... I'm talking about you know national too. When you get that that's that 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 syndicated, you gonna know. Yeah, season fifty though. Man, we want to be on there every day. Yeah, yeah. but I'm just Live. saying when it come when it get to that point, you know, I might be pulling my own Zion Williamson. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! They they sent it today. Man, we finna drop it. Say, drop it. <laughs> I'm content. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you get to season fifty, put it that way, you ain't gonna need the show. It's just that's just good though. You know yeah, yeah, speak yeah, that. Yeah, nah, for bro. sure, man. Broken play, man. Just just say something. Just say you. I said enough. Bro. I'm tired of outro. <laughs> <laughs> we thank y'all. We we, we, we done. <laughs> you gotta say the name of the show. Broken play, man. Shout out to Broken Play. <laughs> that's Kid Mayo Hudson. All right, another episode, not another, but an episode of Broken Play, man. Thank y'all so much for having me, man. Shout All right, man. Cheers.